Hi, this is Nicole, and today I want to talk to you about image compression on your website. Now, it may seem like an extra step for you to get something off your camera and then resize it, but let me tell you a real-life example. So we inherited this client's website, and we noticed that his homepage was loading in seven seconds. And so we looked further into it, and we noticed that one of the pictures in his slideshow on his homepage was displaying at the proper dimensions, but it hadn't been resized. So the file size was giant. So we resized it, made it a lot smaller, uploaded it, and suddenly the website loaded in three seconds. So sometimes um, it helps your site load faster, but you know, it just works better. Now, if you say, now I care about image reduction on my website, um, you've got a couple of options. One is if you use WordPress, there's a great plugin called WP Smush It, or WP Smush, something like that. The free version will allow you to compress a certain number at a time. The paid version lets you compress more and further. Um, free is fine for me anyway. The other thing you can do is use anything like Photoshop or Paint or iPhoto. You can image resize that way for some of the key images on your website. So consider image compression. It's a good idea. This is Nicole. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.